Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. This is episode 29. And we just reached year 283 and we we're, we're getting we're getting close to 2000 citizens, guys. We're at 1849. All right, and we're just uh we're just focusing still on just rebuilding up our defenses. Really just waiting on uh waiting on that stone as usual. I'm so close, you guys, to being to being ready to build this uh, this bridge to the other island, so we can figure out what that witch is all about. It looks like there are some wolves over here, so we may need to be kind of careful. We may need to get an army together. I guess we could do that. We, we could just do it right now. We have 308 idle people in the kingdom, so we definitely have enough to. Uh, Train some soldiers. Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, let's just do like fifteen. All right, cool. And then we'll take those soldiers over to that island and kill all the wolves. All right, let's uh, let's get things sped up again. That is the best way to make sure that we get enough stone, so we can quickly move things along. Keep the gameplay as exciting as we can keep it without editing the videos up. Alright, how tall is this bad boy? Is that tall enough? Oh, it is. Right on. Perfect. Alright, just need more wood. Happiness is trending at a stable 82. Our food is staying our food is staying right around 3000, so that's perfect. All in all the kingdom is really holding together very well. Let's see if our advisor's got anything to say. Hmm. Agriculture guys being a little baby. Uh what Oops. What are the other guys saying? Hmm. City guys saying everybody's happy. The little military advisor ladies talking about Vikings, which are nine years away. So pretty much just the uh, the standard, standard little stuff. The game is really getting laggy, though. It's uh, I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> Brett Henry. That guy's got two first names, has died of old age, along with 24 other peasants. 39 people visited, and 31 decided to stay. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome. We're going to reach 2,000 eventually. It's going to happen, baby. Alright, cool. Let's just put... Two good old ballista towers right here. Have one facing that way, and have one facing that way. Oh yeah, and I need these guys over here. One ballista, two archers. And these need to be built up higher to match everything else. So like right there. Go ahead and demolish those so we can get these leveled out. Alright, so let's put an archer tower right here. Is that the right height? No, this needs to be one higher. There we go. Now we can do archer tower right there. We'll check out... Oh, we got a dragon? I think he's dead already. I missed it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Not that it was really anything interesting to see. I'm sure he got destroyed, no problem. Alright, this guy's got 125 stone for me. And we will sell him 50 wood. 
and 23 tools, 12 armaments. Right on, dude. Let's get things rolling again. Alright, and so we got the archer towers getting ready to be built. Let's set up the ballistas. There we go. This needs to be one higher. And then we can max that guy out. Gotta say, this is a pretty badass kingdom, guys. What do you say? Do you agree? I wonder if hard mode on this game is actually considerably more difficult because this was my f this was my first time ever playing the game and I had not watched any videos of it. The only thing I had watched was the trailer on the Steam page and I got to say this was super easy, which I wasn't really surprised about because I am a huge real-time strategy player, so after playing real-time strategy games, a game like this is just super easy. Like, uh, w uh, when I would, gr when I was growing up as a kid, I would play lots of Command and Conquer games. So that really, uh, that really gave me an upper hand on a really kind of dumbed down RTS game kind of like this. This isn't really an RTS, it's just a city builder, like, with some strategy elements involved, but, uh, that's why it's so easy. Alright, cool. So we can go and we can put Archer Tower, Archer Tower, and we can do good old Ballistas. And it looks like we've almost got, we've almost got all the towers built up that we need. We need the ones over here to be fixed. Like right there and stuff. It is year 288. 39 people visited and 29 decided to stay. We have 1,930 citizens. Oh my god, we got dead people everywhere. Wait, hold on. Let's pause it. Why do we have dead people laying around? Maybe they just can't keep up. Maybe they just can't keep up. Should I build another caretaker and put him back there? You know, I may just need another cemetery. I could just... I could just be what I need. I could put one over here, I suppose, right? Alright, let's... Let's... Let's check it out. Um, 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 cemetery caretaker. Yeah, we can just do it right here. That'd be kind of cool. And we will do big cemetery. And we'll remove the crappy three by three cemetery and put a four by four. And this should take, this should solve all of our cemetery issues, at least for a really long time. Here, let's get things rolling again. No reason to really have it paused. And you know what? To make people happy, let's put some gardens over here. Spice things up a little bit. I don't... I can't imagine that a cemetery would have a negative effect on the houses, but you never know. You never know. There's no one even living over here yet. Everybody's... Okay, we're kind of low on charcoal. We're gonna need more. Gonna need more. Okay. 
Yeah, my gosh, they are eating up that charcoal, baby. That's a pretty nice looking cemetery, too. I like it. Let's go ahead and just build gardens all the way around it to make it look real nice. And I'll put stone roads. And I think I'm going to put a charcoal thing over here because it's kind of far away from people. Mm. Let's see. What's the radius? I could put some more houses over here. That might be kind of nice because it is in range of the cathedral. Here, let's let's slow things down a tad. It's year 290. All right, let's see what it would be like if we would have put more manors over here. And they're right next to a tavern. What's the water sitch over here? Definitely could use some water. Alright, let's go ahead and do water. And, uh... Just for the hell of it, we'll just put a small farm right here. Because the land uh, allows it. Oh, we got a fire? Oh my gosh! Wait, can you even put a well on a pier? You can't. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, that would be weird if you could. That would be weird indeed. Alright, let's go ahead and do one more set of manners. Slow the game down, check out the merchant, see if he's got any goodies. How much stone does this bad boy have? 115, I'll take it, take it all. And he wants 18 armaments, he wants 14 tools, he wants 28 iron. What else does he want? He wants six food, he wants 50 wood. Beautiful. All right, we're holding pretty steady at a 72 happiness. We need more taverns already. Need more taverns. That means we could just go ahead. I, I know we have a tavern right there, but we could honestly just just put another one right here. Might as well, I guess. They love them. All right, and we shall build some roads. Kill. Put another manor. You know what? The bathhouse is probably gonna get overcrowded, wouldn't you think? Here pretty soon. All the people we got. So I probably gotta be careful. I mean, I probably shouldn't expand our housing anymore. That should probably be that should probably be the max right there. I could put a little bit more food over here. With some charcoal and stuff. That could be cool. Uh, so you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and put a charcoal right here at the end. We'll put a farm. And we'll put... an orchard. And we'll go and put a charcoal there. And we shall do... Orchard right there. God, I really want another... I just want to, like, fill this place up, but I can't because it's not irrigated. It's, there's no reservoir. I guess I could always put a reservoir over here somewhere. Maybe, like, right there. If I snuck an aqueduct down the road to make it look all weird. 
I just hate doing that. Hmm. That's yeah, what ifs. Alright, where else can we put farms at? Not really a whole lot of places. It's kind of weird over here. We could put one right there. We could put one right there. Hmm. It's just a weird area over here, you know? Let's go ahead and we'll just do farms. Oh, baby, hold on. What do we get here? We got 2,000 people. We got a dignified kingdom. An immensely strong kingdom that few have achieved before you. You have truly demonstrated great ruling ability, sire. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, all right. I wonder if there's a uh, another achievement after that for like 3,000. That'd be crazy. All right, Um. yeah, this area's just gonna be weird, but that's all right. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Uh, let's do... We still need more charcoal. We'll do it like that. We'll just try. We'll just try to make the the most of of the space that we have here. As weird as it might be. Uh, I guess we could put a greenery, a large greenery over here. We could put two of them, honestly. Well, we could put a lot of them over here. Let's see, how high of a wall can you put an aqueduct over? You can you can go over two high walls, that's cool. Oh, you can go through walls? What? I had no idea you could do this. You can go through walls with your aqueduct. That's awesome! That means I could put my aqueduct all the way over through this wall here. Can you put it through the gate? Oh, you can't put it through the gate. That sucks. Hmm. That's interesting, though. That kind of changes things up. That kind of changes things up here. Let's see. I'm trying to... It's kind of hard to see when everything's snow. Hmm. What do I want to do now? Since I can do that. Yeah, let's speed things up so winter gets out of here. Oh, we, we, we got Vikings now. Are right, they coming from the north. Man, they really like coming over at this wall here, don't they? And it is year 293. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Let's let's speed it up so we so we see this happen. Are there no ogres this time? At least they're not hitting me with their catapults. Man, it really takes a lot to sink those ships. Almost dead. All right, all right, we'll slow it down a little bit. That was pretty easy. Nothing to worry about. The bathhouses are too crowded. I called it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was bound to happen. Crap. That's kind of a conundrum. So we got a bathhouse right here, and we got a bathhouse over there. Where could I sneak another bathhouse in at? They're so big. They're so large. That would be a perfect spot, but I don't want to get rid of that stuff. I could do it right here. Here, let's slow things down. If I were to destroy these stockpiles... I mean, we have plenty of stockpiles over here that aren't being used, you know? I'm also curious, if you build a bathhouse right next to another bathhouse... Would... Like... Would it power the other one up? Here, hold on. I, th I think I'm going to do that. Alright, let's pause it. Alright. Uh, let's just let it go at normal speed. Alright, let's just do a bathhouse right next to it. And we'll see what happens. And we can just rebuild these stockpiles with small ones. So no harm done really, you know. Alright, now let's speed it up all the way. Man, it builds so fast when you do it at max speed. It does. Okay, awesome. Right on. Cool. They are totally fine now. Alright, so now that I discovered you could put your aqueducts inside of your walls... Is there a way... I could just destroy this, this, uh, this gate. I don't really need it, to be honest, you know? I think I might do that. Alright, so... You're 295. So we should be able to do an ac- Oh, yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta destroy this one too. Should be able to do an aqueduct the entire way over there. Alright, what does this guy got? He's got no stone. Total loser. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's do... Demolish that. Demolish that. Demolish. Okay, and so let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. It's gonna look kind of weird, and it's kind of sad that I don't that I don't have those gates anymore. But not a big deal. It's also gonna be impossible to destroy these. Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, cool. Is that going to work, or is it just glitched out? Is that a glitch? I can't tell.
Should we just wait until it's built and see what happens? And see if it says connected to a Noria. I don't know if it's built. No, it's still being built. All right, you're 296. I didn't need that one, so we can just destroy that. <laughs> it looks like the water is gonna pour out on top of the uh, <laughs> on the castle wall. Looks ridiculous. Ooh, you can see it. Okay. Okay, it, it is working. All right. I just wanted to make sure before I went ahead and spent all of this stone. Can you put a reservoir inside of those? Hold on. No, you can't. All right, we got a dragon. You want to go see him die? Dead. <laughs> All right, dragons are no issue. Uh, if we put a reservoir over here, that'll cover most of it. All right, let's slow things down. We just reached year 297. Let's plan out orchards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So orchards will fit in here perfectly. So I might destroy one of these hovels. And put the reservoir like right here. Which would Kind of be nice, because then it would cover some of these farms. That'd be kind of cool. If I wanted to, I could connect my reservoirs all together. By going through this wall as well. But that'd be kind of weird. Alright, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that. And uh, we'll just build it right there. Boom, baby. That's so weird. I wonder if that's a, a a feature on purpose to be able to build inside your walls. Really strange, though. Especially that it looks like you can do it inside of walls that are, like, three high. Yeah, that's really strange. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go get these, uh, let's go get these orchards kind of ready. At least get that one ready. I'm just waiting for them to build it. All right, we got six years until the next Viking attack. All right, they're still working on some of the aqueducts. That might be the last one. Year 299, almost year 300, guys. Looks like he doesn't have anything special. He's got 115 stone, which I will definitely take. 
He wants 50 wood. He wants 37 iron. I wish this little window was a little taller so I didn't have to scroll up and down. He wants 38 armaments. He wants 40 tools. He wants three more wood. And we're good. Weird, it says, not enough water power to supply this building. Try connecting another Noria. Oh, man. All right, so I guess... Oh, crap. It's not powering any of that stuff. Hmm. You know what that makes me wonder? Hold on, let's, let's pause. If I just build another Noria... If I were to just build another one like right here, would that would that work? I don't know here. Let's let's destroy Let's destroy those and see if I can put one next to it. I could put one right there. So if I do that, is that going to give me enough power? We'll have to build an aqueduct as well, so it's connected. You know, what, actually, guys, I think we're gonna we're gonna leave the episode off there, and in the next one, we're gonna see, we're gonna find out if having two Norias right next to each other is gonna allow me to get around this problem we're having about transporting water all the way down these these aqueduct lines anyway guys hope you enjoyed as always if you are enjoying the kingdoms and castle series uh giving me a thumbs up on the video would be much appreciated subscribe if you are not already and i will see you guys in the next one